I'm Linda Elsiegood, founder of the LDN Research Trust. It has been my honour to interview LDN researchers, prescribers, pharmacists and patients from around the world for many conditions. Thank you for joining us. This morning I'm joined by Mary Louise Condon, who is a pharmacist from Brisbane in Australia. She is also an integrative practitioner. Thank you for joining us, Mary Louise. Um, and thank you for inviting me to come along and chat. Could you tell us when you first heard about LDN? My experience with LDN and in our practice has probably been over the last eight years. Um, and I think we were first um, introduced to LDN through a conference in Melbourne, the A5M conference, the Australasian Anti-Aging Medicine Conference. Mm-hmm. And in that way, when we were introduced to LDN, it was very much to treat autoimmune diseases. Um, however, the scope of LDN has really broadened since then. After this conference, what did you do? So often after we come back from conferences, I've been compounding for over 18 years, um, we often like to get to group with like-minded physicians and doctors and um, allied health practitioners and talk about what trends are doing and how we best um, support our patients in their journey to better health. And in this case, um, there was a few like-minded doctors who are quite interested. And I think um, off the top of my head, probably Crohn's disease is where we certainly sort of started and in Hashimoto's because these patients often we weren't getting enough response with dietary modification with maybe introducing you know thyroid support or Crohn's uh, dietary modifications and you know the traditional Crohn's medicine and this is where we start to see uh, such a profound improvement in these patients quality of life um, certainly in Crohn's you know you had people who were housebound who couldn't even go out to normal restaurants um, because there was nothing on the menu that agree with them, um, losing weight. And I think, you know, just generally we're very unhappy. So what we were able to do was introduce low-dose naltrexone with a dose that best suited them. And then um, I think the proof was in the, in the medicine itself. Um, their quality of life significantly improved. Yes. And what forms of LDN do you compound? So we regularly would always compound LDN in a capsule um, for the reason that it's convenient. Um, it's quite a small capsule. It's easy to swallow. We also get the advantage of adding in fillers that we might be able to assist the patient in their health journey. Uh, for example, I know an LDN, LDN patient just yesterday, we added some uh, alpha lipoic acid um, because she has an autoimmune disease and she already was on it. So we're able to just streamline her nutritional supplements that way. We may also look at sublingual. I know we've spoken about that. Um, if it's more convenient for the patient or we want to get them more of the acute um, uplift in the LDN, obviously the opiate lift, uh, to the transdermal is certainly becoming um, an option with autism and patients who just can't tolerate um, LDN. So if you say why someone we're commonly seeing can't tolerate the low-dose naltrexone, you know, number one would be sleep disturbances, but the next one is an upset tummy. So obviously if you're, speaking, if you're trying to treat a disorder where they already have um, an upset stomach, then by introducing a medicine that further irritates it, we might look for other options. In that case, we might stop oral capsule therapy and look at some sublingual or transdermal. And... How easy is it for people in Australia to get a prescription for LDN? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, LDN in Australia is certainly in its infancy. You know, from my perspective where we have been using it over the last eight years now, patients and seen such a significant improvement, working back with their GP or like-minded integrated uh, doctor, whether it be specialist or GP, that is something that I would encourage patients to really uh, investigate further. Um, because, you know, many patients would know a compounding pharmacist. You know, we are in Brisbane. Um, every city has, you know, quite good quality compounding pharmacists. And these patients, have, these uh, practitioners have really good rapport with many integrated doctors that sometimes by having a consultation with them, we can network you back in to the right specialist or the right GP or work with your own GP to get the prescription for better health. Um, so... If you said to me, we're at infancy in knowledge and general acceptance, yes, we are. But, however, I can only see this improving. And I think the more we get um, patients 
support, patient pressure with like-minded um, consultants, whether it be from pharmacy, pharmacy or naturopath um, or chiropractor or whatever your integrative health practitioner is, this is where we can certainly work with um, your doctor or someone like similar minded specialist who can work. I'll use that example. I was, I was talking to a patient today, a pain specialist, who was an anaesthetist who was writing low dose naltrexone. So I would encourage you to think people who prescribe low dose naltrexone in Australia are not just general practitioners. There's many specialists who are writing them as well. Mm-hmm. And in the eight years that you've been compounding LDN, mm-hmm. have you noticed any weird side effects? Look, weird as in, um, you know, your common side effects, as I think I mentioned before, was the sleep and the gastric upset. Um, Mm -hmm. Probably sometimes we have had a young, or probably not a senior lady, I'm thinking of my mind a few months ago, with paresthesia, sort of um, some neuropathic pain that came new to LDN. Whether you could say that's come from the NMDA receptor analog blocking effect or inhibiting effect, I'm not sure. This is where, you know, you will you'll have a better answer that from me. So we did discontinue therapy as much to her um disheartenment. However, no, I haven't seen anything that sort of made me stop and think, would I not recommend this medicine for another person with the same disorder or disease? No, never, never. Mm-hmm. Um, as we were talking earlier, how long would you say patients normally take before they notice any improvements? When we dispense um, low-dose naltrexone and when I'm talking to my clients and patients about it, I always don't, I give them a real realistic um, journey because I would hate someone to try and think tomorrow they're going to wake up and be pain-free or free of whatever symptom we're controlling or, you know, um, weight loss or whatever, you know, autoimmune conditions. So I'd say within four to six weeks I'd like to see an improvement. However, three months, maximally six months, is realistically where we sit. Sometimes it may take three to six months to try to trait someone up, even just above one milligram. You know, as, a, as I may have mentioned before um, in our general conversation, you know, I do have an older lady who is in her late 80s who we just can't get off one milligram, but she is happy there and we're happy. If she's happy and we're getting the quality of life improvement and symptom control, that's where she's staying. I, we don't need to push the dose. Everyone's journey is different. However, you know, she could, she may have been a patient who said after three months, oh, forget it, I give up. But it just took us to the sixth month and it kicked in and now she's happy. But it's only one milligram. It's not mm-hmm. four and a half milligram. Mm-hmm. Well, we have found that it's not always higher the dose, the better the benefit. It's what dose suits the patient best. Yeah, that's, you know, that's so true. And, you know, that's why I think when we do compound it, we have many people on half a milligram and we have many people on 4.5 and every dose in between. So if you looked at some of the dosing protocols, and I'm sure you recommend several on your website as well, is that, you know, you might start someone on um, one and a half milligrams, do that for several weeks and then go to three, double dose to three milligrams and to four and a half we're finding often that we may we are starting at a half milligram, doing that for a week, and then going up by point half, um, just to obviously reduce any problems we may see with side effects, um, and to make sure they um, get the best outcome from the medicine. Mm-hmm. I mean, in England here, we use liquid LDN to titrate the dose up. Do you have yeah. very low capsules? Is is that what you're saying? One, yeah, we a do. Half a milligram we, we, capsule? Correct. So okay. probably we can go lower than half a milligram. We just haven't found the need. So we'll mm. start with a half a milligram, um, generally at night. But as I said before, if someone's getting sleep disturbances, we'll take it to a morning dose. And then, um, you know, whether you want to fill it, the capsule with some magnesium or some alpha lipoic acid or something that's helping you in your journey for better health, we can add it to it. And then just take it slowly. Yeah, and that's probably the advice we give a lot of patients, you know. It's okay to stay on half a milligram for a week or two until you're happy or the side effects subside. Mm. And when I say that, there's not many side effects. We don't see it often. Generally, people try it and they really do well. If people would like to get hold of you, how do they find you? The best way to find us is online. Uh, We have an online website. Um, It's www.com compoundinglab.com.au. We are based in Brisbane, in Queensland, in Australia. We post all over Australia. And um, for myself, I do consult out of Brisbane. 
And yes, we do do Skype conversations. So the best way we can help a patient looking for LDN is that they say contact by email, which could be inquiries at compoundinglab.com.au or go to our website, which has our email and our phone number. Um, then they can send us an email or contact us by on the online website. We can even push them in the right direction for a consultant near them, a practitioner near them. Um, mm. who's open to prescribe LDN or they may choose to make a, an appointment with uh, myself or one of our doctors or um, at least we can answer some common questions and then when they're comfortable to take the next step, we can support them in that journey. Oh, well, that's fantastic. No, no, that's great. <laughs> but no, no, look, I think I think as we said, if, 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 I, if I honestly believe what you said is true and I think it is that LDN is really underutilised in Australia, I think it is. I think there's many disease indications we can bring it in to offer some, you know, if it is, you know, the next big thing in medicine, I, I think it is certainly for autoimmune and pain management and, you know, even for migraine patients, we've seen some wonderful responses. There's so many diseases or, you know, indications, as you, you would know them all yourself, um, where I think we can start using them. I'm, you know, I'm sure you can rattle off many, many more, many more diseases that we could be using them all. Um, heavy metal toxicity, um, you know, as I said, even Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, these are areas that we aren't, we haven't really explored yet, but yet... You know, so I think, you know, it's really an exciting era. Um, so, you know, if patients are Googling and, you know, Dr. Google does numbers and they want more information, by all means, email us and we can tell you how we introduce it, how we can help it, help you to introduce it into their, um, into their medicines and um, their overall health. Thank you very much for sharing your experience with us. And it would be really great to interview you again in, say, a year's time to see what else is happening in Australia. <laughs> Wouldn't that be wonderful? And I think, um, as I promised to you, I will get you some doctors who I know in our local area who are happy to prescribe it, who may not be readily available, but even if they want to contact you and you can share that information. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Thank you for that. Do you have LDN experience to share? If so, please email me, linda at ldnrt.org. I look forward to hearing from you.